In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to perform some very basic image blending using Lightroom 6 and Photoshop CC. Here I have two raw images within Lightroom, and I want to take the sky portion of this image, where the highlights are better controlled, and basically blend it in with the bottom portion of this image where the exposure is greater. To get started, I will select the first image by clicking on it, and while holding down the command key on my Mac keyboard, I will click on the second image. With both images selected, right click on either of the images and select Edit In and then Edit In Adobe Photoshop CC. Photoshop will launch and open both of the images as separate documents. Now, what we want to do at this stage is place one of the images as a unique layer into the other document and there are several ways of doing this. One method is to arrange both of the documents into floating windows and then using the move tool simply click inside of the document that you would like to move and while holding down your mouse drag it over into the other document. Line up the two layers. The purple border indicates that they are lined up. Let's close the other document without saving and then drag this floating document window back into the main working area. Okay, as you can see, that was rather simple and straightforward. All right, to review, what I want to do is take the brighter parts of this layer and blend it with the darker sky from this layer. To do this, I will create a layer mask by clicking on this button at the bottom of the layer panel. With the layer mask now in place, we can use the paintbrush to reveal the desired portions of the layer below. The color of the brush should be set to black. Remember that for layer masks, a black color reveals and a white color conceals. Now, it is worth pointing out that I am going about this in a fairly rushed and haphazard way, and that I am not being too particular about how precise the layer mask blend actually is. If I was producing this image for my portfolio or for printing, then I would definitely put more time into the layer mask and use smaller sized paintbrushes in certain places to cause the layer mask to be more refined. By toggling the layers on and off, we can see how the brighter portions of the underlying layer has been brought through and is now blended in with the darker sky from the top layer. Looking at the layer mask thumbnail in the layers panel, you can easily see what parts of the layer have been masked, as indicated by the black and white segments. This concludes our look at performing a very basic image blend using Lightroom 6 and Photoshop CC. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and Facebook page in order to stay updated with all of my latest video tutorials and image posts. Thank you for watching.